You are watching the Dog Talk Show. So welcome back. With me in the studio is Mr. Sina and we are discussing fitness and rehabil rehabilitation and pain control using methods without the need of medications. Uh, Mr. Sina has had experience in uh, employing non-pharmacological methods in controlling pain and helping relieve uh, patients of their chronic pains and other problems that tend to be associated with uh, chronic pain. So, uh, Mr. Sina, um, uh, just before we left, we said we we're going to talk about uh, nutrition. When yeah. someone gets injured, when someone, for example, experiences a stroke, uh, he's in the process of recovery. He, an injury has occurred and they, maybe the muscle becomes paralyzed. What sort of foods should they eat? Uh, which, which foods are best to help a person recover first? So, well, the best food to eat it should be protein, protein foods, because those are considered as repair, bodybuilding repairing foods. Okay. So stuff like within proteins, we've got animal proteins. Mm. So such things as red meat, white meat, which is fish, mm. chicken, and also we've also got plant-based protein, which is like the lentils, the beans, okay. you know, peas, the so, peanuts. So apart from the meats, yes, are there any other types of proteins people can eat? Yeah, people can eat plant-based protein. They can eat stuff like beans, yes. peas, peanuts. How about uh, let's say milk and yogurt? Are these also good for because these are protein diets, are they good for sick people? Yeah, milk is good for recovery, but then uh, some people are allergic to milk. They can use another alternative, so stuff like soya milk, almond milk. But again, what kind of milk should they have? Stuff like they should have semi-skim milk rather than full cream. Okay, semi-skim meaning that uh, yes. they have removed some of the fat. Yes, so they have removed some of the fat. Okay, so it remains mainly the protein bit of the milk yes. and has reduced fat. So semi-skim milk is good for injured people, it is. or people who for suffer repair. from, who are recovering from strokes and mm -hmm. the likes. So apart from proteins, are there are there any other types of foods so other stuff, which other, are good? Yeah, other food that they can eat, yeah. they can have stuff like complex carbohydrates. Complex, it means that something that's good for the body. The body can take time to break that food, so that people don't over snack. So complex carbohydrates can be stuff like cassava, mm -hmm. potato, brown rice, it can even be posho. Okay. I know people are going to ask about matoke. And mm. Is matoke a complex carbohydrate? Not really. It doesn't stay long in the body. Matoke is just water based. So. Okay, so it's a bit of a light carbohydrate. Yeah. So you recommend the heavy, heavy, the heavy foods yeah. like the, but the also, sweet yeah. potatoes, cassava. Uh, how about millet? Millet is what can go under that bracket. It's millet. also a heavy type yeah. of carbohydrate. But the reason is that... Also uh, maize. Also what? Maize as well. Can also be. maize, yeah. like posho. So the reason you say is because the body will take time to break down this food. So that means there's like a steady flow of energy yes. in the Constantly system. To repair the body, yes. Okay, and these and are the foods, which are, the foods which are very good for people who are injured. So fats that are coming from fish, mm -hmm. you know. And also type of oil they can use as well, stuff like olive oil. So things that we can try to avoid, mm. like uh, oil that we normally do, like the sunflower oil, mm. vegetable oil. So stuff like that, we can minimize them. But it's better to have good fat, which is coming from fish oil, like macro. Okay. Yeah. So the vegetable oil, very many people cook food yeah. using vegetable oils, whether it is sun seed or whatever type of oil. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, for injured people, they should eat less, less of this oil, less yes. of this fat. Um, is there any reason, do they increase injuries in a way? No, because what we're trying to do is to stop any overweight. Well, we're trying to yeah. reduce weight. So we're trying to reduce weight and we're trying to build the muscle. And also, we're trying to help the body recover quicker. So stuff like uh, sunflower oil, it does not really promote recovery quicker, mm. you know. It means to promote weight gain. Yeah, he promotes weight gain. Mm. So, um, so in other words, you'd say it's better for someone to boil food rather than fry food. That's another way, yes. So another time to boiling, grilling, rather than fry up. So we need to avoid things like frying food. Mm -hmm. So 
we try to promote boil food as the way you said mm -hmm. and also when we're cooking the food try not to overcook it so when we're cooking like stuff like vegetables we just need to steam them okay. so the reason why we do that is to promote to to make sure the nutrients are still there so okay. if you over steam or over boil the food we're losing nutrients okay so carbohydrates proteins good fats mm -hmm. and how about fruits fruits are good as well as a source of vitamins so for, again fruit to be a good source of vitamin it's good to have fruits as well so if you to ask me how the plan of the meal should be mm -hmm. you know so like let's say an example like a day-to-day -day basis we can have like morning we can have breakfast breakfast can be cereal can be can be again eggs you know things that like which is good nutritious Okay. Then once we finish that, then we can have mid-morning snack. Mid-morning snack, we can have a fruit. Mm -hmm. We can have apple. Mid-morning, that would be around... Okay, let's yeah. say the breakfast is at 8. Yeah, the breakfast is so at 8. So somewhere at 10. So you're looking at 10 to 11, mm -hmm. we have a mid-morning mid, mid -morning snack. Mm, and you prefer with, with fruits. Yes. So and fruits and um, water or you know. Okay. Then once we finish, then we have lunch. So lunch, we can have what I mentioned before, complex carbohydrates, protein, vegetables on the plate, and then we can have a glass of water. Then after that, we can have mid-afternoon snack. Mm -hmm. So mid-afternoon snack can be a salad. How often, so we need salad in there. Salads, uh, those are cabbages, yeah. so or lettuce, carrots, carrots or... cucumbers. Okay. All things that is need to be in there. So salads of fruits, you yes. can take that in the afternoon, yes. later in the afternoon. Then uh, for the supper or for dinner, mm. what, do then they also eat the same foods or they reduce? You can have a small portion. Everything we do here, in a day, you're looking at at least five to six small meals every day. So five which to means, six small meals. Yeah, but a lot of, in Uganda, people eat lots of food at once. At once, yeah, that which is that, not good. It means at lunch they serve a hip like yeah. this. Yeah, they and have a mountain. They serve a hip. So that is not good. No, it's not good. You recommend body. small amounts. Yeah, but frequent. But uh, about five to six times a day. Yes. When you say small amounts, how big should? So every so you should try to have at least two portions. Yeah. Two portions is the size of your hand. Two, three. So about this, about the size of your hand. Yeah, two portions is what you should eat. Yeah, you like should for eat breakfast. More. The same for lunch, yes. same for the snack, same yes. for, for the afternoon. Yeah, I know some of you are saying that this is too small. Mm. But I think is. It, if people become <clears throat> disciplined in controlling <throat> the amount of food yeah. and they're eating the good foods like the proteins and the complex carbohydrates. Yeah. Remember yeah. we're talking about people who are suffering from injuries, people who have chronic pain. So these types of foods are going to help you to recover. Nutrition is a way we can rehabilitate and rejuvenate the body and restore our function. So it's always good to hear from the experts, the nutritionalists, so people like you who work in your field, rehabilitation, injuries, and nutrition. So this information is always good for people to, to know. How we can, moving on from there, the next bit will be weight loss program. Okay. So the weight loss program will be where we do a 12 week program to make sure the person loses weight. Mm. And it's fitter, it feels more energetic, you know, we all know people that don't exercise or work in an office, around three o'clock, they feel tired. They want to be sleepy. Mm. So again, these are the sort of thing, the benefits of exercise, weight loss side of it, increased energy levels, people are more happier and they boost the immune system. So in these weight loss programs, how fast can someone lose weight? It's the standard recommendation, the safer way to lose weight. You have to lose between half a kilo kilogram to one kilo a week within a week yes so you can imagine if you're doing a 12 week period program you're going to lose a lot of weight okay. so you're going to lose between eight kilos to about to 10 kilos. 12 kilograms yeah, so roughly. and all these are done in combination with the nutrition yes the pain control and everything yeah. everything works together yeah we look at everything together okay. rather than putting one thing aside and just we look at when you come in, what do we need to work on? If okay. it's pain, we work on the pain, then we move on from there. If we do some rehabilitation exercises, we do strength exercises, then mm. we promote weight, weight loss. Okay. And also nutrition. 
Okay, so, so we really appreciate the work you do. Thank, Thank you, you very much for bringing to light these non-pharmacological methods. And uh, always remember to send in your questions. If you have questions, if you have comments or feedback, send it to our social media platforms on Facebook, on Twitter, and uh, our experts will diligently respond to all your questions and comments. Yes. So uh, uh, after the break, we'll come back and uh, we'll take you through a live demonstration of what exactly happens in the office of a fitness expert. What sort of uh, techniques can they do to relieve things like back pain or things like knee pain? What, what, um, the, the, we are going to illustrate more yes, on the I techniques will. that you yeah. do to show that indeed these things help to relieve pain. Okay, so stay tuned, don't go away, you're watching the Doc Talk Show. You are watching the Doc Talk Show.